Hi, today I'm going to show you how to trace a logo. First of all, we'll use a freehand tool. As you can see, from a freehand tool, you can make lines like this. Like, but you have to be continuous. Likewise, you click on this, and then again click on this point. Click here, then click here. Now you have to complete the circle. When you about to complete this circle of nodes, you will see this arrow. It means the box has been completed. Now you can fill color inside. If I just make line like this, like this, I will not be able to fill color. So, for filling color, I have to complete the circle. Now you can see the color has been filled. Now I will start with this basic function of how to choose a line. I delete this. Now you see, I am using a freehand tool. But first of all, I have to check. This, is, this has to be 0.5. The outline, the thin line, the more the thinner the line, the better would be the tracing. And second thing is I have to make this in red color. Now with red color, it will give me a better contrast over black color and I can trace better. So the color that you choose for a line should be in contrast with your logo. Now I'll start again. Use again the freehand tool. Like first I click on this node and then I click again in the square now this is a connecting line now I'll click here I'll click again in the square now this is a first step of tracing I have to find the nodes so I'm just roughly sketching the area as you can see here this is a first step now the outer sketch has been completed now I will click on this nod shape tool select I will select all like this and click on convert line to curve now the all lines have been converted into curves now I have to find a center of it and just push to the circle to bring it to the shape as you can see it's coming very easily something has been left out that we finish in a third step you can see it's going perfectly fine now once this has been done we move the third process how to finally finish the line now you would like to see what is missing in this as you can see the original file is here but my tracing is here now how to do that click on again shape tool click on this knot you will see two arrows these two arrows are to balance now first of all I'll shift this knot a little bit here now I will click on this arrow and try to balance it now you can see with use of two arrows now if I click over here I, I'll get two arrows from this and this side now I will bring this here this is doing well You see a wide gap here. I'll move this arrow a bit. I'll come to the shape. Now I can see a difference here also. As you can see here. So for this I can move this knot a little bit. And I can see a difference here. So this difference can come out by pressing this. I'm moving a little bit of knot. That's it. Alright. There is one problem that probably you are going to face. Is in case if all nodes are not set to curves and you click on this node and you find an arrow when you try to move this circle sometimes you might find this line is getting disturbed to avoid this what you have to do is click on this node and press cusp so by clicking on cusp only the area that you want to change or you want to make it curve will only get the other area, this area, will not get disturbed by any of your action here. This is all. The tracing has been finished. As you can see, I will take this logo out and fill red color in it. It's simply perfect. If there are any dots, please let me know. Thank you so much.